Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing great. In this video, we will create a basic IoT project where we will be sending a data from ESP32 to ThinkSpeak using API. Let's get started. First, let's start off with what is an API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It acts as a bridge between our software and a website. To fetch data from a website, we use an API. Think of the website as a restaurant and the API as a waiter. The customer, which is our program, requests a dish or data from the waiter, the API, who then serves the dish or data from the restaurant, the website. API is provided by the website some charge for them, some are free. Thingspeak provide API for free with limited features. They also provide tools like graph, chart for data visualization. Using Thingspeak, we post data into their website and from there we visualize it. Now let's set up a Thingspeak. Go to the Thingspeak website and click sign in. If you don't have a MathWork account, click on create one and follow the steps to set up your account. You just need to provide your email, name and continue. The verification mail will be sent to you. After verifying, set the login password and your account is created. Now just login using your credential. After logging in, click on channel and then new channel. Fill the necessary fields for your channel like channel name and field labels. Open the channel. Here. You should have an empty field. We have already uploaded the data, so we have this data. Next, navigate to API keys tab in your channel setting. Copy the right API key. This key is essential for sending the data from Thingspeak channel. To ensure the API is working, copy this right channel feed URL. Open a new browser tab and paste the URL. Then edit the feed with some data like here we manually edited 50. Press enter. You should see a response indicating that data has been sent. Check the field chart on Thingspeak. And if data is updated on field chart, API is working. And as you can see, data is updated, so API is working. We are going to use this API in our code. Before that, let's connect the ESP32 with the DHD22 sensor. We will need ESP32, DHD22 temperature sensor, some jumper wires, and data cable. Connect the DHD22 VCC to ESP32 3.3 volt, ground to ground, and data to pin 5. Connect the ESP32 board to PC. Now open the Arduino ID and install the required libraries. Go to the sketch, include library, manage library, search for DHT sensor library by Adafruit and install it. Now let's understand the Arduino code. Include the Wi Fi, HTTP client, and DHT sensor libraries. Then define the pin for DHT22 sensor and the type of sensor we are using. Then set your Wi Fi credential and ThingSpeak server details. Then create a DHT object to interact with sensor. Begin the serial communication for debugging. Connect the Wi Fi using provided credential. The loop will print dots until the connection is successful. Then initialize the DHT sensor. For loop function, check if the Wi Fi is connected and read the temperature from DHT sensor. Construct the URL to send the data to ThingSpeak, including the API key and the temperature reading. Then send the data using the HTTP GET request. Print the response to serial monitor for debugging. Wait for 10 seconds before taking the another reading. And that's it. 
This code will continuously read the temperature from DHT22 sensor and send it to ThinkSpeak every 10 seconds. Verify the correct board and port is selected. Click the upload button to upload the code in ESP32. Open the serial monitor in Arduino IDE. You should see the ESP32 connecting to Wi-Fi. Finally, go to your ThinkSpeak channel. Click on private view tab and you should see the temperature data being updated every 10 seconds as you can see here. Congratulations, you have successfully created the basic IoT project that sends the temperature data from ESP32 to ThinkSpeak. Now you can monitor this data from anywhere in the world. For detailed steps and troubleshooting, refer to the blog. Link is given in the description. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comment below. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.